Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well this morning. It's Carla Nicole. So listen, um, today is my late night for work, so um, I don't have to go in to work early, so I'm going to go in a little bit late. Um, and just kind of, uh, you know, enjoy this morning, and, and uh, I wanted to kind of touch base with with you and, and see how everybody's doing. So listen, you know, um, I was just thinking earlier today about what I posted about, which is, you know, love, right? When you, when you love somebody, um, it, it's a beautiful thing, you know, when, when you love someone, um, you really want to see them, um, return the love to you. Um, you want to desire that person um, in the same state of being, which would be in love with you back. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when we are, quote unquote, in love with someone, um, we have an expectation that that person is going to return the love to us. Which, of course, um, in a perfect world, of course, everybody's going to be on the same page, be on the same feeling, have the same uh, mindset, you know. And so when you're loving somebody and you really desire to be with them, it's like, man, you know, I want to be with this person and I want this person to want to be with me. But I want to talk about something today because I think a lot of times when we have in love feelings with someone, we automatically assume that that person is going to return the state of feelings uh, the state of being, uh, the, the state of care, we automatically believe that that person is going to reciprocate. Um, and I think sometimes in that high expectation that that person is going to love us back and return it, there comes a huge amount of likeliness of disappointment if that's not the case. So I want to talk about this because I think it's important. You know, we, we love very, very fluidly. Um, at least for me, I know, you know, through the years, I get to sit back and laugh just about relationships in my past. They're laughable, trust me. But when I sit back and I look and I see how, um, you know, I believed when I was younger, of course, you know, as you get a little age and a little seasoned, you understand that love is a very different kind of thing. It's not always about how you feel but it's about a state of being. So with that said, when, when I would feel love for someone, um, I automatically would assume or expect that person to return it, right? Well, I had somebody maybe about, I'd say probably about six or seven years ago, they advised to me that, you know, when you love someone, don't give a damn if they love you back. And I said, what? I've never heard of that. That's crazy. And then I sat up, sat on it for a while, and I was like, well, actually, now that I think about it, that's not so that's not so out of order now that I think about it. Because if we love somebody, right, and we we can have a tendency to love somebody with uh, to the greatest depths possible, but when we love somebody, it's funny. It's a joy that's supposed to come over us, right? When we love somebody, we care about them, we want to see the best for them. We want them to have the best going on for them. We want to see positive in their life. We don't want to see them hurt. We want to try to protect them. You know, all of those things that happen when we have a desire to want to be with somebody. But I had to sit down and think about that for a minute. So you're telling me if I love somebody, I shouldn't give a damn if they love me back? Really? So it's funny you sit back and you look at about you think about it and you're like okay so if I care about somebody if I love somebody to the depths to my mere soul and that person doesn't love me back I should be okay with that really so I challenged it I challenged it and decided that no that's really hey Carlton I'm glad you're talking about this too yes um so when we say that we love somebody is it okay for them not to return it well, actually, like I said, in a real world, not everybody is going to love to the same degree, 
not everybody is going to love at the same time not everybody is going to have a innate feeling towards you that is what you have towards them so in that event what do we do as far as how we feel well we only can control what we got which is ourselves we can only control our emotions we can only control our feelings we can only control how we how we um our expectations so we have to be in control of this of how we feel so i want you to think about something real quick so if you do fall in love with somebody and you really love them and you really want to be with them and you really desire them and you really have a strong state of being in love with them that's all great all fine all beautiful however you're not sure if they feel the same way about you uh, I would put on the brakes as far as professing that love number one and number two I would begin to really comb through what it is you truly are feeling for this person because everything that feels like love isn't love sometimes lust feels really a lot like love lust you can lust somebody lust what they look like smell like talk like speak like think like you can be in lust of someone and think that you're in love with that someone but that's not love that's just lust so you have to be able to really know well what is the difference between love and lust we got to look through that uh i mean that scenario well am i loving this person or am i lusting this person and then once we decide that okay now that i have these in love feelings do you really notice that that person is feeling the same about you are they really wanting to be around you are they really wanting to share what i consider their time with you time is something you can't get back so if someone is sharing their time with you if they deeply want to be in, involved with you they are there there is no controversy about well i don't know if i want to spend time with her or not I don't know if I love them or not. I don't really know how I'm feeling or not. You know if you want to spend time with somebody. So with that said, if someone is really in love and cares about you and really wants to be with you, there is a level of understanding, okay, this is how I feel about her. So I want to be in the presence of this person because I have a deep admiration, desire, uh, all kinds of things that are going on in your soul when you're around this person so it's like okay so you're you're wanting to share your time with them and that's great fine and dandy however what are you gonna do for those that have the in love feelings for someone what are you gonna do if this person's like I don't I'm not in love with you like that I don't see you like that I'm not feeling the same amount of feeling that you're feeling for me I don't have that same feeling for you what do you do then because a lot of times we don't expect or we don't ever really think about, well, what do we do in, a, in, in an event that the person that we're in love with, that we want to profess our, our whole entire self to, is not feeling the same? What do we do then? Here's, the, here's, the, here's, here's very important. This is very important. Understand this. Always, I don't care how much you have been involved with them, how you believe they're reciprocating the feelings with you. All of that always expect that that person may not feel the same they may love you they may care about you they may want to spend time with you but they may not want to share their life with you okay what are you gonna do because see a lot of times we'll put all of our uh, or, or like the old saying is you put all your eggs in one basket and you'll think I'm just gonna bank on this one person is gonna be with me and that's not the case then we fall into what a depression a hurt a shame a sadness we cannot even remotely focus on what are, what are we going to do if this person is not going to reciprocate the feelings the same way I'm, I'm giving it out to them what am i supposed to do now how do i feel about this you have to expect the worst the person may not feel the same as you and if they don't it's okay listen understand this when you feel in love or when you really enjoy someone or when you really have an admiration for someone or have a certain level of respect or care for someone that is something to be proud of whether they reciprocate it back to you or not you should be very joyful in the fact that i can i have the ability 
to feel in love with someone, whether they love me back or not. And then take the expectations off of what you expect them to do with your in love feelings. That's your, that's your, that's your time to master, not theirs. You know how you feel. So you master yourself. You master how you feel. You master what you do. You master how you handle it. Okay, I feel this for somebody. Okay, if that's how I feel, that's what it is. But now, with that understanding, what do I do to master self to make sure I'm not in a shambles? Because a lot of people will lose their mind over the fact somebody doesn't want them back the same way, to the same degree. You got to say, hey, it is okay that I love you. It is okay that I feel this way about you. But in my feeling of how I do about you does not have any reflection on how you feel about me. Understand that. Because it's very hard to get to this point where you're just like, I'm going to love you regardless. I don't really care if you reciprocate it or not. This is how I feel. This is, these, are, these are my feelings. This is how I want to uh, express how I feel to you. You don't have to give it back to me. I'm not here for that. When you do that, it kind of changes the game on how you actually give love to other people. Because when you are not worried about what someone else is going to give to you, you'd be surprised at how much you receive. It is amazing how when you sit back and say, man, I didn't realize I was going to receive so much love back by not trying to demand it from someone else. This is just how I feel. I'm just telling you where I'm at. Now, what you decide to do with my feeling is up to you. Now, if you want to reciprocate, fine. If you don't, fine. I'm still cool. But my love for you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. And the beautiful thing about love is that we often think that love is, we, we get the most joy from someone loving us back. That is incorrect. We're supposed to be enjoying how we love someone else. When you learn love is about you and how you enjoy loving someone else without expectations of getting something back from them, it's a whole different joy because it's like, oh, I can love this person and expect nothing from them. We do it with our children all the time. We love our children before they even know what love remotely is. We pray and hope our children will love us back. But at the reality is, hey, Navy, but at the, uh, I mean, but the reality is at the end of the day, um, we don't know if our children are going to love us back. We hope and pray that they do, but we don't know, really. And I believe, you know, paternal love for your child is one of the most purest ways to love. But we don't use that same mindset when we love somebody else that we are outside of our family or whatever. We decide we want to uh, love another person as a mate or as our lover. We don't really know that if that person doesn't love us back, that we can still carry on and love them anyway. But this is what love is. Love in its raw, in the raw, is not about expectation. Love is about showing I care about you, I have patience for you, I care about your well-being, I want to see the best for you. Those are what those are the standards of love. So why are we so caught up in well if I love you and you don't love me back, I'm gonna collapse. I'm just I'm gonna lose my whole mind. Then you're not loving properly. Love is something that's a beautiful thing, but at the end of the day, we can't expect someone to give us what we give. Because we will forever be frustrated because we're not getting what we believe we should get back and sometimes you may get an overabundance of what you thought you were going to get by not expecting anything and be like well damn I didn't know they, they were going to care like that I was thinking they were going to care to this degree or I thought they were only going to love me to this dimension or I didn't know realize that the love was going to go that deep to that depth I didn't know well, when you take off expectations and when you begin to love someone and not care about, well, what are they giving me back? How are they going to love me? Are they going to love me based upon this and based upon that? Take your hands off of it. The only person you can control is you. 
You can only control your emotions. You can only control your desires. You can only control what goes on in this mind, not nobody else's. So when you understand that, it's like, okay, it's all right. It's all right to love and receive nothing in return. Because really, loving someone unconditionally, not based upon what they can give you, not based upon what they're going to do for you, is a whole nother level of love. And it's deeper than what maybe the average person may think. Well, I'm trying to love them so I can get this and gain that. That's not loving. That's lusting. It's a whole different understanding. So I just wanted to come on here, tell everybody good morning. I'm glad you guys are all here and chimed in. But like I said, you know, love is a great thing, but it may not be reciprocated. And if it's not, it's okay. You don't have to have somebody love you back. Love is supposed to be enjoyed. You know, one thing that I remember when I began to learn what the hell love really is about is when I sat back and said, you know what? I actually enjoy feeling love, giving love. I actually enjoy that. So if I enjoy it, why hold back giving it because I'm not sure somebody's going to return it back? That's not my that's not my battle to fight. If they want to return it, cool. If they don't, cool. I'm still good because I'm enjoying giving it and giving it without any expectations and understanding that love is what it is. I mean, we're on the planet, we should be trying to advance our loving feelings anyway. But we spend a lot of time trying to, nah, we don't, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. And we get to this point where we're just kind of really shimming down all of the things that we could be doing to enhance our life. But we don't want to advance and say, well, if someone doesn't love me back, then I don't know what to do with it. You can do so much with someone not loving you back. You can learn a lot about how you love. You can learn a lot about how you would love someone else to love you. See, one of the beautiful things about loving is when we see someone else loving us and returning it to us, we're like, oh, okay. When I love, I want to do X, Y, Z. I want to make sure I'm doing this and this and this. I want to have patience. I want to have, you know, um, care and compassion. Sometimes you got to love like Ryan, Ron, Ronald said from afar. Yes, sometimes you do. And so I want to love this way and in loving someone, sometimes I want to love this way. And how do I improve my loving feelings? How do I do that? Do I know how to love really? Because a lot of times we say we love, but do we? Or are we loving with expectations? Or are we lusting? Because lust looks a lot like love, like I said before. Lusting looks a lot like love. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just you're lusting to have what? I'm lusting to be like this couple over here. Or I'm lusting to have what she has or he has. Well, I want a woman like that. Or I want a man like her. I mean, I want a, a man like she has. Okay. But that man that may not be for you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So it's imperative that we sit back and look at what is it that we exactly want to have and desire in, in our lives to make sure that when we love someone, is there a way to love and not get all caught up in, oh, well, I love to this degree, but I'm not loving no more. Hey, Mario. I mean, it's, it's fine, but you don't have to love to that degree. You can love authentically and in your loving someone, you'll find yourself way better off because you'll, you'll see, oh my God, love is something that I can enjoy. I can, I can truly enjoy having someone I care about whether they care about me or not is, is not really the issue because like I said when we love our kids we don't love our kids based upon what we're going to get back from them we just love them period because of the fact that we're we're parents we just love them we have to we have to if we have to sharpen how we love our mates and and our and our and our lovers if we need to sharpen, we need to pay attention to how we love our kids. Because when we loved our kids, we didn't think about, well, I, I'm only going to love my kids based upon what they do for me. We love our kids regardless. Same applies here. When you're talking about loving your lovers and loving the man or woman you want to be with, you got to love them like, hey, look, I love you regardless of whether you love me back or not. If you love me, cool. If you don't, cool. I'm still going to enjoy how I feel about you. 
a lot of times we don't realize that when we feel a certain way it's a beautiful thing but a lot of times we want to try to compartmentalize how we feel based upon what we receive back you may not get back nothing you're gonna stop loving because of that if you do that you're cutting off your own personal joy love is a joyful thing it's a beautiful thing and we should be enjoying giving it not just about what we're receiving from it give it when you give love to somebody it's, it's a joyful feeling it's a joyful state of being but it's not joyful if you're spending more time trying to say, well, if I'm if I'm gonna give you this and you don't give me nothing back, then I'm done. Then you're not loving. You're just you're just trying to get reciprocated back for what you're giving. And that's just a tug of war. That's not really a true, honest love relationship. So I hope I help somebody today. I know that, you know, when I talk about this kind of stuff, I seem to get people that want to chime in and, and want to um, really understand that you know love is a very complex thing but it doesn't have to be you can make it pretty simple you can just give it <laughs> if you receive it back wonderful if you don't wonderful you're still giving it it's a state of who you are because you become love and when you become that nothing like it because you're like oh my god I'm exuding this off of me and when I exude this off of me what does that do for me well it brings you about balance because that's what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be giving love and, and 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 expressing and showing and telling people look I care about you but we don't always have to get something back do we sometimes we, we may love somebody just because we just love them and and that's all it is that's it that's all and what they give back to us is, is what we receive fine if it's not then you know you do whatever's necessary to move on and just do do you but at the end of the day understand love is a beautiful thing but we have to get off of thinking that we we want something back from it don't get all caught up in that man it's not worth all that love's a beautiful thing we have a lot of joy in love when we let go and say hey i care about this person and since I care about this person and this person's returning it to me, that's that's what matters. So I want to see what Charlotte said. She said that we were created to love. And as we love, even if that person does not return it and keep doing so, it is definitely a problem that some desire to the love another has, but only sees what on the outside looking in. And if we love authentically, we can find the deeper spiritual in us. Absolutely. Now I see here where, um, let's see, Bradley said love is a decision, not always a feeling. Um, actually the one who, who you are to love or who you love in return is your mate. The rest of them actually do not have to return it. Love your fellow man as you would yourself. Thanks Bradley for sharing that. Now see, the funny part about it is, he had a very good point. Sometimes, you know, um, people that we give love to may not have to give it back. And I said that earlier. But that doesn't mean that you should shut down giving it to anyone else. Love is supposed to be a continuum inside you. And you should be able to be willing and enjoying how wonderful it really is. Because it's a beautiful thing. But we have to get away from thinking love with expectation is really where love is just enjoy love like i said if someone doesn't return it to you it's okay actually like i said always never put all your eggs in one basket if someone doesn't love you like that it's no big deal just understand well that's how you feel enjoy your in love feelings whether it's responded to or not and then just move on I mean, it doesn't mean you have to be, oh, your life's over, or you're going to collapse or die because someone doesn't return it back to you. It's just not, they're just not the one. And then you just move on. I mean, and I think that once we understand that, it's like, oh, so my life isn't, isn't incomplete because this person isn't for me. I just know now that this person is not who I'm supposed to be with. Okay, so I move on. And it's just that simple.
But anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful um, Wednesday. Like I said, this is my late night, so I'm going to relax and enjoy my time to not have to be at work until later on this, uh, this morning. And um, like I said, share this video. I'm sure someone on your timeline needs to hear it. <laughs> Trust me. Everybody's had their share of drama with love, I'm sure. So um, I hope everybody has a great morning. This is Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day.